peoples, it's his little Cherie. And this is part three of A Better Brain, Journeying Towards Better Brain Health. I'm reading this book, The End of Alzheimer's Program, and I wanted to give you a bit of a synopsis as I go in case you don't want to read it. It's a very dense book. It's not a medical textbook per se, but there's a lot of research, information, real life examples in here. So I'm just gonna skim the surface for you and, and hopefully um, I won't massacre it too much. If you want the details, read the book. Um, the forward basically gives the premise that medical science is really historically reductionism. It's looking at smaller and smaller and smaller parts to understand the whole. And um, the protocol in this book embraces that, but it also takes a more holistic approach, meaning it zooms out and looks at the big picture. And the chapter, chapter one of the book is called A New Kind of Vaccine. It talks about polio and how when they discovered a vaccine, polio became completely preventable. And it talks about an approach to Alzheimer's that's like a new kind of vaccine instead of um, a magic bullet you know one single thing that will shoot this down it's a holistic approach it looks at all the contributors to the disease and one of the quotes that i liked says we must evaluate and target dozens of contributors if we are to address the underlying drivers of the disease instead of employing this usual single drug or monotherapy approach. So at the heart of Alzheimer's sits a switch called APP that responds in two ways, depending on the environment of the brain. And the book uses a great illustration of your brain as a country. And when things are good, it goes into growth and development mode. And when things aren't good, it protects itself, it goes into defensive um, or, um, you know, defensive offensive mode as if it's at war. And there are actually some good things about this protected brain. It's better at battling parasites and infections, but it also does damage. Uh, a brain on the defensive or a brain, uh, an Alzheimer's brain, is actually a protective response, protective downsizing. A brain is in retreat, a scorched earth retreat, and it suffers its own damage while pulling back. So um, the cognitive decline of Alzheimer's can be addressed and reversed by addressing the the factors contributing to the imbalance. So the biggest, the biggest risk factor is genetic. If you have the genetic marker APOE4, you're more likely to develop a brain that goes on the defensive and can develop Alzheimer's. The other risk factors are inflammation, insulin resistance, uh, levels of nutrients, hormones, and growth factors that are not optimal, pathogens, if you're immunosuppressed, or exposure to toxins. So the good news is that there are risk factors and there are things that you can do about them. So it's a very good news kind of book and there are lots of real life examples from studies that have been done. And so it's very encouraging. I'm encouraged reading it. And I plan to do what I can to implement this protocol one step at a time. So come with me next time when we tackle chapter two. Thanks guys, bye. I'm gonna try and keep these videos under five minutes. <laughs>